Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening. My name is Mally Rosado, and I am a council president for the Court of Common Council for the City of Hartford. I am calling to order this special virtual public hearing a meeting of Thursday, July 8th, 2021 to order. Um, as I see on my screen, uh, joining me this evening is Councilwoman Shirley Surgeon. Um, also with us is our majority leader, Councilman uh, Clark. Thank you uh, for being uh, here uh, this evening with us. Uh, some groundkeeping uh, rules, uh, public uh, hearing shall be conducted in accordance with the following procedures. Each person wishing to address the council or committee, therefore shall upon by recognition of the presiding officer give his or her name address and if he or she represents a group, shall in addition state for the record the name and address of said group or organization and shall limit his or her remarks to five minutes. All remarks should be addressed to the council as a body and not to any individual member. Any persons making personal and pertinent or slanderous remarks or who becomes boisterous while addressing the council shall be forthwith bared by the presiding officer from future audience at said meeting unless permission to remain is granted by a two third vote of the council members present and voting. During public hearing, there shall be no debate by council, although questions may be asked by council of persons making such uh, presentation. For members of the community, please be advised that this meeting is being broadcasted and recorded by Hartford Public Access Television and can be viewed via the Hartford Public Access TV Facebook page, Compax Xfinity Channel 96, www hpatv.org or channel 6032 for frontier customers. Spanish interpretation is provided through partnership with the city of Hartford and the Hartford Public Library. Additional accommodations can be made with enough notice uh, in writing uh, to council president's office. This evening um, on our agenda, is an ordinance amending chapter two, section 850 of the Hartford Municipal Code. Um, and this is the residency uh, requirement ordinance. Uh, Councilman Nick LeBron uh, has joined us. How are you, Councilman? Hello, hello. Okay, so um, this evening, uh, we have not had anyone sign up for this public hearing. This meeting was noticed. Um, it was sent out. It was also noticed by our town clerk, distribution through social media. And we have not had anyone sign up for public comment. So, I am going to ask, um, in case someone is uh, joining us, um, is there anyone to speak in favor of this ordinance? Is there anyone to speak in favor of this ordinance? Again, is there anyone who wishes to speak in favor of this ordinance? Okay, is there anyone speaking in opposition of this ordinance? Anyone speaking in opposition of this ordinance? And for the third time, is there anyone speaking in opposition of this ordinance. There seems to be no one speaking in favor or in opposition. We will remain uh, for five more minutes just to make sure uh, that no one is running late um, to provide them with a platform to speak in favor or in opposition of this ordinance.
so as not to uh, have a dead time, Council President, we want to read um, what this is all about, the actual notice. Absolutely, Councilwoman, go ahead. Oh, I wish I had it. I thought you did. I thought some of one of us did. Does anybody have the notice for the public hearing? Mm. I do. Let me just bring up that. Hold on a second. Well, for some reason, I don't have any attachment. Okay, so an ordinance amending chapter two, section 850 of the Hartford Municip Municipal Code. Um, it says here that the chapter two, section 850 of the Municipal Code of the City of Hartford uh, be amended as follow. A, all council and major appointees and unclassified employees employed by the city shall maintain a consistent continuous residence in the city during the period of such appointment of employment. The section shall not apply to new employees or appointees during the first six months of such employment or appointment. If such individual cases to be a bona fide resident of the city, once the residency has been established or fails to become a bona fide residents within six months of the appointment or the employment that council shall by a vote of seven members send notice to the mayor that pursuant to this provision of chapter five section three of the Hartford Charter the office or position of the individual who has failed to remain a bona fide resident of Hartford shall thereupon become vacant and such appointment of employer appointment shall terminate. Bonafide residence is defined as one, an employee who has a Hartford mailing address, a post office address, does not qualify as a bona fide Hartford address, be a registered Hartford voter, and three, if the employee owns a motor vehicle, said motor vehicle must be registered in the city of Hartford. The provisions of Subsection A above shall not apply to individuals who were employees and appointees at the time of the effective date of this section. So item, numbers, uh, item number C states that notwithstanding the requirements established in section eight above, the mayor may request from the Court of Common Council a waiver of a bona fide residency requirement by resolution for directors of the following department, Management, Budget, and Grants, Metro Hartford Innovation Services, also known as MHIS, Emergency Services and Telecommunications, also known as ESNT, and Finance, provided that A, prior to making such requests for an individual for whom the mayor requests a waive, a waiver a waive the re residency requirement. The open position shall be publicly posted and advertised for a period of not less than one month. B, shall have been actively promoted on public messages, message boards, city newsletters, city websites, and social media accounts, as well as through neighborhood revitalization zones. And C, the mayor shall interview any applicant who are Hartford residents and who have been deemed to meet the eligibility requirements for these positions prior to requesting a waiver. A resolution by the Court of Common Council granting the waiver of bona fide residency requirements at the request of the mayor shall specify A, the means by which the open position was made known to the public, B, the nature of the technical knowledge of specific training, experience or certification required to effectively perform the responsibility of the position. The waiver of the requirements of section A may be granted by a majority of the council members present and voting. And finally, section 
D, the maximum salary for any department head for whom the residency required is waived for sworn to Section C shall be reduced by 10% from the set forth if applicable pay, in the applicable pay scale. The maximum salary will no longer be subject to said reduction if the department head ultimately establishes Hartford residency as defined in subsection A and provides proper notice to the Department of Human Resources and Labor Relations. And that concludes um, said, um, resolution, said ordinance um, for the uh, residency requirement. And thank you for um, noting that Councilwoman um, Surgeon. Um, for the record, uh, has anyone joined us uh, speaking in favor of, of this ordinance? Again, has anyone joined us in speaking in favor of this ordinance? And I will say it one more time. Has anyone joined us and wishes to speak in favor of this ordinance? Has anyone joined us in speaking in opposition of this ordinance? Again, has anyone joined us in speaking and wishes to speak in opposition of this ordinance? And I'll say it one more time. Has anyone joined us who wishes to speak in opposition of this ordinance? Okay, there being none, um, it is now 711, 712 actually. Um, there is no one that has signed up or joined us uh, to speak in favor or in opposition of said ordinance. Therefore, I am calling this meeting uh, to adjourn. Thank you all. Have a nice evening. Good night.